Hey guys, Community StarCraft 2 here. Uh, again, this is Sidewinder. And you can see that I have advanced in the previous game I was playing when I was displaying the tutorials about hotkeys. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, you can find it on my channel. It should be the very first video listed because this is a new channel. I'm just getting my feet wet in this whole thing. So uh, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and check it out. But those of you that have, we are going to go ahead and pick up where we left off. Now where we left off is trying to get you used to using your uh, hotkeys and what I'm going to show you this time is I'm going to show you uh, control groups. Control groups are ways to assign uh, numbers to your different uh, units that you want to be able to have control over no matter where you are in the battlefield. Now you can see I'm already expanding um, uh, into this game. Again, this is just against a very easy computer. We're just doing this for educational purposes. It shouldn't be taken seriously as like a real game or anything. But uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to show off the uh, unit groupings. What I usually do when I play on grid is I hotkey my nexuses to one. Now the way you can do this is uh, if you click on a building, uh, it can be any building or unit rather I should clarify. If you hold control and you press like one, two, three, four, five, whatever, uh, again, again, this can all be done with your left hand. You can see them showing up here. You can assign that building to that number. So if I hotkey my nexus to one and I'm out here playing around with my units, um, I can hit one and my commands for my nexus will come up down here. So uh, you can be off playing with your units, uh, off fighting somebody. Ooh, there's a zealot. I'll go kill him. You can be off doing all that, and, but in the meantime, you can still be doing stuff like making probes. So if you just hit 1 and then Q, you can keep your probe production going and obviously keep your economy good. So, uh, and you can do a whole bunch of different things. What I like to do is I like to hotkey my warp gates or whatever to 2 when I play Protoss. I'll upgrade like a higher tech building to 3, um, and I will typically hotkey stuff like upgrades to 4. So, 4 is going to be my forge, and 3 is going to be my robotics, and my stargate. Now, another interesting thing that you can do with your uh, little command things, or rather, uh, control groups, I guess I should say, is you can hotkey more than one thing in those control groups. Let's say you have one nexus at your home, and one nexus at your natural expansion. You can hotkey both of these, and I already have this hotkey to one. So I can do one of two things. I can, while I have already, already have this selected, I can hit shift, click that, and have them both selected. Now, if I want to uh, set these both to that new control group, I'm going to hit control one again. You can see there's now two units in this control group. It's both of my nexus. And what it's going to do when I press 1 to recall those is it's going to show my two nexus, and if I hit Q a whole bunch of times, it's going to distribute the building between these two nexus or other buildings, whatever they may be, as efficiently as possible. And I can do the same thing with, uh, you know, checking through all my buildings. So typically what you're going to want to get in the habit of doing is setting a whole bunch of units or buildings or whatever to different hotkeys and getting used to toggling through those to make sure that you are producing units and spending your money as much as you can. Now you can see my money is building up here. Uh, that's because I've been really slacking on making units. But if I just go through, I can hit one, check to see if I have any probes. Okay, I don't. I need to put a couple in production. Two, I don't have any. I mean, these are on cooldowns, or rather, they're off cooldowns, so I can go ahead and warp in a few units. Uh, I'll check number three. Or, yeah, there's three. And uh, do I need to produce one of these? Yes, I do. So I'll go ahead and uh, make it immortal. Uh, number four, do I have an upgrade going? Yes, I do. It's almost done, so you know what? I'll just queue up a second one. So if you get used to these uh, little things, you can be doing a lot while you're trying to uh, off-fight battles and stuff. What a lot of newer players will do is they will walk around with their units and uh, they will be attacking, they'll be in a big battle, they'll be really engaged, and as soon as the battle's over, they'll go back home and they have like a, a thousand minerals and like 500 gas. And they'll just have way too much. I mean, you don't want to have those minerals sitting around because if you can be spending those minerals and turning those into units instead of just nothing, then it's a lot more helpful to you. So if I'm off here fighting, I'll be like, yeah, go get them. Oh, I need to make probes. Um, I need more units. Oh, crap, I, I can't make them here, so I'll just I'll check back. Oh, I'm supply blocked or whatever. And, I mean, you get the point. I mean, you can go through and you can, you can queue up actions while you're busy out uh, fighting or doing whatever around the map. It's a very useful skill to have uh, in order to advance to any other stage of the game is to be able to multitask. And control groups are going to be the best way you're going to be able to multitask. So get used to your control groups. Um, and watch the way other players play. Like, if you watch pro videos, note how they hotkey different things. 
Um, a lot of pro players will hotkey something like a scout. Uh, I've seen a lot of them hotkey it to zero. I personally don't understand that because my hand does not wander that far usually, but that's, I mean, it's totally up to you. And what they will typically do is they'll send their scout off somewhere, and then if they want to go back home, they'll just double tap their control group, and it'll take them right back to where they want to go. So they can be flying around the map. You'll usually see something like this from a pro player. They'll be all over the map, and they'll be doing all, all sorts of crazy crap that you won't really understand. But what they're actually doing is they are multitasking very efficiently, and their hand is barely moving on their keyboard because they're saying, ooh, what's going on my Nexus? Okay, there's, is there anything going on here in my work gates? No? Okay, well, I mean, if you can bounce around the map like that and keep track of what everything is doing, your actions are going to be very optimized and you're going to play much faster and thus much better. So get used to these different control groups and you can segregate them in many different ways. Let's say in this control group I want to segregate my stalkers. Uh, I'll hotkey them to six and I want to segregate my sentries. I'll hotkey them to seven and I want to segregate my zealots. I'll hotkey them to eight and I can go zealots you need to be here. Sentries you need to be there. Uh, stalkers, you need to be there so that you, all your units are in the right position when they need to be attacking. So it'll be a lot less uh, mouse dragging all over the place, and you can control your units a lot more effectively. So uh, get used to control groups. I mean, they, they'll really help you out. And having a big panel full of control groups here is really a, a very good sign. It shows that you are able to prioritize what needs to be done, and you're able to switch back and forth between them all the time. And you can pay attention to a lot of things like that as well rather than uh, you know, clicking down here on your map to say, where's my scout? Okay, my scout's up here. Where's my base? Okay, my base is back here. Now I need to click on that. No, it, I mean, if you, if you just press zero, double tap zero, double tap one, I mean, you'll, you'll be all over the map and you'll be very effective with your actions instead of wandering all over the map or scrolling with your keyboard or stuff like that. So get used to using control groups in conjunction with your hotkeys. And again, if you not, have not seen the prior video, go ahead and check it out. It should be the very first video ever posted on my channel uh, because we are cool. We are getting into StarCraft broadcasting here. And by we, I mean I. I like to refer to myself as several people just in case you hadn't noticed. So uh, get, used to, get used to playing with your keyboard. I mean, playing with your mouse is always fun, but uh, your keyboard is definitely going to help you a lot more than uh, anything else. It will definitely keep you on top of everything that you should be doing and uh, it'll keep you in the habit of, of t cycling through your hotkeys to make sure that stuff is always going on. If stuff is not going on, then that means that you are not playing as, effective, uh, as effectively as you could. So get used to toggling through all of your different hotkeys and make sure you're always doing something. Make sure your buildings are busy. Make sure that your units are busy. Make sure you're doing something because the more active player is typically the better player. So get used to, get used to these things. Even just play around in, in little custom games against computers like I am, and it will really help go a long way when learning how to play StarCraft. So, uh, this is Sidewinder signing out for this first basic tutorial video. Check out my channel at Community StarCraft 2 uh, on YouTube, and you'll be seeing a lot more tutorial videos and game broadcasts and all sorts of fun stuff like that. So, this is Sidewinder uh, signing out for the time being.